Hello everyone, it's Shariah and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shariah or Raya and yeah, before we get into the video, what you want to do is hit the subscribe button, turn on all your post notifications so you never miss a time that I upload and join the video game we lit. So as you can see by the title, today I am doing my two month update with my VSG surgery and yeah, I... I can't believe it's been two months already, to be honest. Like, I've, you know, it just felt like, I'm not going to say it just felt like I got it, but it doesn't feel like it's been two months already, if I'm making sense. Like, it's just surreal. And I, like I told you guys before, I'm going to do monthly updates. If you, I really don't want to turn my channel into a VSG channel, where it's just nothing but you know videos about my weight loss like i do want to keep you guys updated but i don't want to be focused like i don't want my main focus just to be about weight loss but then again i do want to keep you guys updated so i'm kind of like back and forth i still want to stay within my you know like fashion beauty lifestyle type of videos but if my channel sways that way then maybe that's where god just wants me to, to you know like Maybe he wants me to go that direction. I don't know. But, you know, so far, it seems like everybody is interested in my weight loss. And um, it's been mainly positive. And I'm just happy. Like, I'm so happy. And I know I haven't been posting. It's been a lot going on. Um, more so, like, with life and then my mental and things like that. So, you know, that's another story. But we're here about my update. It's been two months. And I'm officially down 30 pounds since my surgery. And right now, I am at the part where I'm not really focused on the scale moving because I, obviously I know it moves and it will move. Um, I just started eating regular foods and stuff again. And so when that happens, they say like, you're not gonna see you know, weight loss because right now my body is basically trying to figure out like what's going on. And it's fine with me anyways, because even though the scale isn't moving, I'm noticing changes within my physical appearance when it comes to my arms, when it comes to my stomach, and even like, you know, the rolls on my back, like they're dropping. My stomach is not hanging. Like it wasn't, it wasn't hanging. I didn't have like an apron type of stomach or anything, but you know, I have like a little gut, you know, and it's not my gut isn't down as far as it used to be she's she's coming up my stomach is starting to get more slim um my arms they're starting to get a little bit more uh flabby so i did say i was going to start working on my arms i don't want to start working out too much right now because i know I, I can build muscle pretty quick so i'm just going to wait for me to lose about 40 50 more pounds and then i'm gonna start working on toning up you know my you know arms and my back and my stomach because it was gonna be my problem areas i am starting to see like my inner thigh get real loose and stuff like that and especially my butt like listen listen <laughs> everything used to be you know like when you're nice and plump and when with me i was not well rounded but you know i was proportions in all the right places like all the fat went to all the right places i'm used to everything being nice and stiff and firm my butt she's still here She's still here, so we're not going to sit here and say, like, oh, my ass left already. She didn't leave. Hopefully, she don't. But what I'm saying is she's not as firm as she used to be, like, when it comes to, like, touching. She's more so, like, more jiggly now. And, you know, like, like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. She was, she was, like, she had jiggle to her, but she was more firm. Now, it seems like it's nothing but fat in my ass, and I love it. I love it. It's all nice and squishy and stuff. I hope it stay like that. I'm going to try to make sure, like, I, I got to do what it do to make sure she don't go nowhere. I, I like her like that, how it is. The fat on my back, like, my rolls are starting to get smaller. And I used to have, like, a, I wish I had pictures, but I don't. To, like, compare, contrast. But the rolls on my back are starting to, like, one of them disappeared on both sides. And now they're starting to, like, fall. Holy day, they just dropped. I used to have this roll, like, on my side. And, like... 
it would just come in but now it's starting to like smooth out and I'm like oh my gosh like I haven't been this smooth since I don't know when and yeah I'm just excited I can't wait until I can get in the gym and actually tone everything because I'm gonna try my best to tone what I can so I don't have to have like any type of skin remover surgery or anything like that if I have to so be it but I'm going to try to work on what I can to try to avoid those things because you know going through surgery and healing and stuff like that's a lot and with me I know like I'm not old but I'm not 21 either where my skin just springs back i mean i might have good skin who knows who knows i might just lose weight and not have to do anything but i don't know so those are the things that i'm going to work on and yeah like i said i'm 30 pounds 30 pounds down and now i still don't eat everything like they still tell me to stay away from rice stay away from like you know like iceberg and those type of lettuces and things like that for the most part so that's what i'm doing and um i still haven't had any um what you call it like i still haven't had any like red by steak or anything and even if i did I, I know i wouldn't be able to eat much um my portions are still small and they're still the same i haven't changed that it's just that i've been trying to experiment more with eating like different foods so i'm not sticking like i'm not relying just on protein shakes anymore like that's what i was telling them, the dietitian i actually had my um two month appointment the other day which is what caused me to make this video because i was like oh my god it's been two months already like i gotta update the girls i gotta update the bitty game so that's what i've been telling i've been focusing on trying to eat more protein and things like that so i don't have to drink protein shakes as much granted if i don't feel like cooking when i get off work and stuff i will drink a protein shake because that is 30 grams of protein i do need 60 daily and um yeah but for the most part i've still been eating grilled chicken things like that i've tried um i'm still with mashed potatoes one thing i cannot stand anymore is tuna fish the smell of tuna fish makes me want to throw up because i ate so much of it when i was on that like pureed soft foods like around that time and it's like you know you can only eat but so much and i wasn't about to sit here and grind up food so that's what i was eating like egg salad chicken salad tuna salad like i'm tired of it and it's still in my refrigerator and every time i look at the packs of tuna i'm like Ugh. i'm over it <laughs> So now I'm eating, you know, grilled chickens and um, have like some, I, I can eat beef and broccoli. I have some of that. Um, I'm still doing eggs for breakfast, um, turkey sausage, turkey bacon. For the most part, I can get in one egg and probably a couple pieces of like turkey sausage or one slice of turkey bacon and like one egg. Sometimes I can get in two, but I usually add spinach and cheese in my eggs. So that's what make me not finish. So sometimes I'll do that or... I'll do like some scrambled eggs with um like two pieces of turkey sausage and I cut them too so it's just like literally like two pieces sometimes it's three and I cut them in like them circles like those slices and then um I'll do like a little bit of breakfast potatoes or I'll make it in the morning and then I'll eat some for breakfast some for lunch because that's sometimes I do over make it because I'm still in that you know like phase where my eyes be bigger than my stomach sometimes so for the most part i know everything is pretty much palm size when it comes to me but when i go to work and stuff i don't know why like in the morning i just be whipping it up and i be like damn like i can't even eat all this but everything is still like um it's still i'm still in like that little learning phase and stuff like that so i'm not being too hard on myself because like i said i know i'm at the point now Ooh. I'm in that point now where the scale isn't moving and my body is just figuring things out. I'm getting my water in, so that's a good thing. I'm still taking my vitamins. I actually, in a couple weeks, need to get my blood drawn because if everything is okay, then it's a couple vitamins I don't have to take and I can just stick to my multivitamin and then maybe like biotin. Um, the dietitian did say like around three, between three to six months is when people start to see hair loss, if they even see any and i already been through that because i had covid and nobody warned me that i was gonna shed a lot of hair during COVID, like after having covid like those were one of the side effects and stuff like that i had covid and pneumonia and you know well you don't know but i was in the hospital and i was taking different medicines and stuff every day and a couple months after having it i was washing my hair you know i'm detangling my hair in the shower and i'm like i'm shedding way more and like I, clumps of hairs is coming out 
a couple weeks later i washed my hair again it was like more hair and at, at first i was like what is going on but then it's like i wasn't complaining because my hair was thick and it kind of thinned out but not too thin but like I didn't mind it because my hair was already on a thicker side like I said so it actually benefits from me but you see my hair is locked now and um it's been what October, November, December, December. it's been four months <laughs> and um yeah my hair is starting to just lock up on me and stuff like that so when it comes to the the hair loss I'm like so what's going to happen because I don't want to have to start this is my second time starting my locks over and I'm like I don't want to have to comb these out or these thin out and I gotta cut all my hair and start over so I'm trying to just do what I can which is making sure I'm getting in my protein like I said I'm probably going to continue to take my biotin and things like that just to help with um my hair skin and nails my skin is starting to get dry and it's so crazy because the doctor did ask me like are you experiencing dry skin I'm like no like my skin was already on the drier side already <clears throat> already on dry side already but i was like my skin is already on dry side so i haven't noticed but now i'm waking up with like dry skin on my nose and face like every morning first it'll be like every couple of days because you know like i got exfoliate things like that but now it's like every morning and i already use eucerin for my face so i'm like maybe i need to think of another face cream or talk to the doctor to see if there's a cream that they can prescribe me for that like I used to um I still have like a little bit of triumph sun alone because I do have eczema on like my ears and on my crazy on my ears and my lip crazy but I'm gonna see if there's like a thick cream that I can use for my face Cause, like when it comes to like my hands and stuff like they're fine but it's really just more so like my face and my legs they're like really dry and it's not like flaky flaky dry but it'll be like a little flakes and stuff like on my nose around my eyebrows and things like that and also also what I'm noticing is I'm breaking out I'm getting like pimples like specifically on my forehead and like over here like under my eyes like up in this area I haven't had any pimples on my chin or anything usually a couple will pop up when my period comes but I feel like it's a hormone thing and my body is just trying to regulate itself then on top of that I am on birth control so it's like <laughs> my body's trying to adjust to my hormones I got my birth control going on I'm losing this weight it's like a lot going on but my pimples aren't too bad to the point where I'm like oh my god but it's just like my acne stopped <laughs> in high school thank god because it's like I used to always break out or I, like I said I'll get a pimple when my period's coming but that was about it or if I drink soda I'll get like little white pimples but I'm not used to the acne and stuff again because like I said like um if you guys see my skincare update video and i'll link it in the card i don't really break out and stuff like that anymore especially my adult years but now it's like you know what the heck i'm seeing this happening and and i heard, i read up on it it's normal my hormones are just trying to regulate itself so i'm gonna let her do its thing luckily it's not too bad and you can't really well i got my makeup on so you're not going to be able to really notice anyway so i'm not even going to complain but only i would sit here and notice because i'm the one like i look at myself every morning i'm in the mirror you know i'll be tweezing my eyebrows doing my makeup i'll see it but you know besides that it's cool so besides me breaking out me being 30 pounds down me trying foods and stuff like that also like they say your taste buds and stuff change after you have surgery. Mine's are still the same. They're childish. I still don't like onions. Still don't like tomatoes. Still don't like mushrooms. Don't really care too much for fish. I'll eat, you know, like some grilled salmon or something. But I was never really a big fan of fish anyway. It's still the same. Hasn't changed. Um. Yeah, like I, I tried and I'm like, nope. Still no. So my taste buds are still the same. They're still childish and that's fine. <laughs> um yeah i haven't ventured too too out like i said i've had beef and broccoli i didn't try i did have a couple pieces like pepper steak mac and cheese i can eat i tried green beans collard greens i've tried um bacon i've tried oh i will say orange juice don't like me i used to love orange not love orange juice but you know like orange juice for breakfast so i'll drink like some simple orange juice or something like that i had the zero the no sugar added one i didn't have the zero sugar one i don't even know if there is one but when i had the no sugar added one i took a sip and literally i felt it hit my stomach and i was like yeah now so orange juice is a no-go for me that's the only thing that hasn't agreed with me besides that like you know my dietitian always say like just don't be scared to try things 
and I'm in weight loss groups and when I see people like I'll ask a question like hey has anybody you know tried this or how to disagree with you like I'm two months I'm one like whatever I am I'll say that and people will comment oh I was fine you know because I want to like I think the last question I asked was is, did, like has anybody eaten cashews and I heard nuts tear your stomach lining or something whatever some people say they fine some people say don't do it and I'm like wow okay so if you ever have a question and it's like one of those type of situations is actually dietitian because a lot of stuff that I was scared to eat and I tried, I'm actually fine with. I've tried diet soda and I wanted to try it because it's like, it was one of those days where I wanted to burp and then it's like, I, want, it, I always wanted to test it. I'm not going to drink regular soda. I'm not a big soda drinker anyway. So that day I tried diet coke. I was fine. I burped. It felt so good. <laughs> like it felt amazing but I tried that like I said they say you know don't try this don't eat this I had shrimp I'm fine I had scallops I didn't have crab meat I had crab cakes mac and cheese I didn't have piece of pepper steak I haven't had no ribeye because you know that your girl love ribeye I haven't tried that yet and um yeah so I just been experimenting I had a breakfast burrito from chick-fil-a if you guys don't have one if you get the chicken breakfast burrito from chick-fil-a so good I can finish about a quarter of it for breakfast and then I'll eat like I'll cut it in half because it's not big big like them chipotle burritos but you know it's like a little nice size and um I'll eat like a quarter of it for breakfast eat the other quarter for you know like lunch and then either I'll eat the other half later or I'll eat it like the next day for breakfast but it's so good because it's like I want to try it and it is in a wrap um I've had those kid tacos from chipotle so good and i can only eat one and it was nothing but chicken cheese i had no rice it was literally chicken and cheese and a little bit of sour cream boom one and done and i had a couple chips so it's like i have been you know like experimenting with those things um when it comes to me cooking i always make grilled chicken with a little bit of mashed potatoes and some broccoli and that's probably what i'm gonna make later i'm probably gonna um just make my grilled chicken for the week and just eat that for lunch obviously with some veggies and stuff like that so i did my little experiment in what you know eating at certain places like when i go out to eat i like pop popeyes or something like that i get the blackened chicken because that's grilled chicken and then i'll get like usually you know, i can eat like one tender and then be done but if i know i'm gonna be like at work or something like that and i'll have it all day i'll eat like tender and then i'll get like some mashed potatoes because i love that mashed potatoes and um yeah so that was me like just experimenting like because like i said i'm in that phase where it's like i'm trying to figure out what i can and can i eat sometimes i can't always cook at home so it's, it's best to find other options things like that like i know panda express is around the corner i'll get like some grilled uh what do you call it i think it's like grilled teriyaki chicken and some broccoli or i'll get like some beef and broccoli and then it's like i'll be good to go and you know stuff like that it's not good to always eat out but sometimes you just can't cook at home like for me sometimes i just be tired and i'm like all right like i'll figure it out at work sometimes i'll just have my protein shakes it really just depends on the week my mood and how i'm feeling but for the most part we're good to go like i said i'm gonna try to make sure i start meal prepping things like that so i'm gonna start experimenting more with what i eat for lunch and things like that but that's pretty much it for my two month update so I'm not in the gym lifting heavy weights yet. I'm still wanna I wanna drop down, like I said, about 40, 50 more pounds before I start doing that. Then I'll take you guys with me to the gym and you guys can see my progress. And yeah. So um if you guys have any questions or anything like that, or if you want to know anything, just comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at underscore underscore I am Shariah. Your girl is super active on Instagram, especially on the stories. Listen, I'm on Instagram like every day, so don't hesitate to follow me. If you got a question, you can ask or you can leave it down below and I'll make a video answering those questions. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, most importantly, subscribe. Turn on all your post notifications so you never miss the time that I upload. Jody Bitty Gang, we lit. Yes, yes, yes. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. When I sing about it, yeah, I mean